it's always a case of filling in that jigsaw puzzle. Say it's a hundred piece jigsaw puzzle. Uh, Google's going to guess around about 50 pieces in what it is. The more you fill in that picture, the more of the fine details it's going to know of that jigsaw puzzle. Whether there's a tree in the background, whether there's a church, whether there's a, a kid or a pram or a duck, the more you fill that in, the more specific it is. There's a, a tool called cloud AI learning in which it will take a picture of the thumbnail, it will scan through the thumbnail and go red, shocked faced, male, and it micro tags them. It now scans through all of video in the same way. Mr. Beast went to a supermarket in one of his videos about a year ago, and they, they put this video through the AI algorithm. What it does is it generates these tags based on exactly what's in the video, not just the tags, the actual video outside of the supermarket didn't <coughs> mention the supermarket. It could see the sign of the supermarket and it immediately went supermarket, food, shopping, leisure. It knew those associations. Google has all of this video content and can feed this algorithm to machine learn and teach it. That's why the more the more of this jigsaw puzzle you fill in for it, the more it can make that association. Does it appreciate it then when, when it goes, oh, you're outside a supermarket, so food and shopping. And if you put those things already into your system, into, into your tags and into your description, does it go, well, thank you very much. You've already given me that information. I'm going to give you a better ranking. Or does it just go, well, that makes no difference because I've already seen it within the video anyway. It's more validation. <clears throat> My theory is they've been telling us for years that tags don't matter. They do, but they won't in the future. What they're trying to do at the moment is augment what we tell them the video is about and validate it and confirm it with what they know and that over time the machine learning will become more and more important and the human element will disappear. So if we tell it that it's a vlog and I went to Audi and I bought Christmas stuff in the computer generated tag mindset, it, it sees the supermarket, it sees food and it sees Christmassy stuff. It goes, ah, okay, we got it right. That's one for the machines. Okay, so it's the machine learning rather than actually the machine going, that's good, yeah, we'll give you a better ranking point. It's just the machine going, oh, thank you, no, I, yeah, I, I was learning correctly. I think in the long run, the machine learning will eliminate clickbait. Yeah. Or it will kill it much quicker. We already have the machine learning when it comes to thumbnails in YouTube. Yeah. Upload something outrageous in a thumbnail, it can identify specific body parts, specific locations, and specific relevant things that you would you would identify as a human being and it will flag it immediately. And that's through the visual element, not the tags. You could have a completely blank video, you could title it X. It doesn't matter. It would analyze the thumbnail and know that that's not what you should have as a thumbnail or will either restrict it or, or remove it entirely. And there's something that does that that isn't human and that's clearly a machine learning tool that's been taught to recognize those images, whether it happens to be educational or whether it happens to be flat out illegal. So there will be things that identify that. And in the long run, I imagine that that machine will become more and more relevant to our everyday life, not just a safety net to, to protect YouTube from abuse. Now, if you liked this, why not click here for the full interview or check out the playlist here for micro mini clips that will blow your mind.